There have probably not been very many kind of poetry expeditions uh, in the planet's history, but at this point, the idea that we will solve this crisis by appeal to science and reason alone is clearly incorrect. We've had 30 years of that. So one of the things that 350.org has really worked hard on is to try and figure out other ways for people to take in what's going on on the planet, this biggest thing that humans have ever been up against. Well, I've known Kathy's work for a while, and during the Paris Climate Conference in 2015. That was the place where she met Jason. I introduced the two of them because they were each taking part in this trial. Her to explain what was happening on the Marshalls as the tides rose, and Jason to explain where that water was coming from uh, up here on the ice sheets of Greenland. And so I wanted to have that image for the world of someone standing on top of the water that would drown their home when it melted. So initially it would have just been me coming to Greenland, doing a poem, that's it. But um, I didn't feel right about that, about going to someone else's homeland and then just kind of using that landscape to talk about my own. So I asked Jason to connect me with an indigenous poet. I think the importance of me as a Greenlandic woman and Kathy as a Mashabit, like that representation. We're used to people like speaking on our behalf. And I think it's important for indigenous people all around the world that people pass the mic to us. Yeah, show the world in our own words, on our own terms. When Bill McKibben contacted me about this project, I immediately thought of this glacier in South Greenland that we've been observing since the 90s. And as we watched this place for the last five years, it just crumbled away. It's, it's completely gone now. And I wanted to bring the group to this place to show them what it looks like now, and then some photos of what it looked like just five years ago. And just being there and feeling the scale of this place, will have the impact that I think would inspire the poets in their work. I hope that through our poem, it would be a wake-up call to some people that we just can't stay passive about this. We've been doing that for too long. I hope that for the next generations, it will teach them not just as a, oh, I can choose to care about this, the poem ends on the most important possible word. This idea that we need to rise and rise together has been the dominating idea at 350.org. I hope that this poem is one way of bringing more people in. My hope for the film is, I think, connecting these two lands, Greenland and Marshall Islands, that don't seem at all connected, and yet they're so connected, you know, and I hope it, it creates an experience that shows how small the world really is and how big this issue of climate change is as well. <laughs>